Well, if you want to sit somewhere, just go to a place and hold F and you can sit. Oh, the train is already here. Get up, get up, get up, get up. We don't want to miss the train, so let's get into the train. Doors are now closing. So once you get in the train, uh, the train again works like real world train. So from Asper Grand, uh, if to go to commons, there are two stops. Uh, I mean, the second stop is common, right? So Asper Grand, after Asper Grand, you'll see Tobin uh, Show Center. I think it's called Tobin Show Center or something. Uh, and after Tobin Center, uh, you go to commons. All right. So let's wait for it. There's another person here. It's just This is not the place where we want to get down. You can see it, this is Tobin Expo Center. This is not where you want to get out. You want to get down to the next stop. This guy is... Come in, come in, come in. You're in the wrong stop. Come in. Oh, man. <laughs> this is one of the reasons I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm making this tutorial. I'm sure that guy's a new player. So there is nothing in Tobin Expo Center. So Tobin Expo Center is a place where usually every year... Um, CAG, the, the company that is making this game, will conduct an event, um, I think it's called IAE or something, and that event happens in Tobin Expo Center, uh, so here, uh, let's get down in comments, so you can see this is the station name, uh, so in Tobin Expo Center, uh, there'll be like, um, like an exhibition of the ships and stuff, and there'll be like ships you can buy and offer, so that's the only time Tobin Expo Center is open, other than that, if you get on Tobin Expo Center and try to go somewhere, it will say that this is closed for uh, construction or something. So yeah, we are in commons. Once you get down in common, just take a right and you can go here. So it says exit, right? So just, no, it, it doesn't matter which station you are on, just try to follow uh, these kind of uh, signs. Uh, this is one of the reasons I, 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 I wanted to you to choose new babbage because you can see like even before getting out from the train you can see what station you are on right so these kind of stuff are not available in other planets like Lorville, for example in larvil you had you had to see inside the train to know which stop you're in which it's not very straightforward for new players so that's one of the reason i told you to oh this lady is speaking too loud that's one of the reason i asked you to choose new babbage so yeah let's go here so we're gonna go here and we're gonna go up and we're gonna go up again so commons is a really big place and it's easy to get lost to so easy to get lost yeah it's easy to get lost so once you came uh, come out of it just remember this place this is like a center place like this is like a, it's like an open gym where people are like you know working out there's like yoga mats and stuff so from here there are two places right so one is to your left or to your right depending on how how you're coming if you're coming on the other from the other side where this this t2 is written it will probably be on the right but there is one side where it says promenade and then there is other side which says new babbage plaza right this promenade is basically just uh, like a place to relax. It's like there's like a club here and you can just go here and, you know, chill out with your friends. So, or just relax. So there's like, this, it's got a nice view here. So you can see. And uh, there's, uh, there's, I think there's a pub here, which where you can go up, have a drink and stuff. Uh, let's not go here now um, because, you know, <laughs> it's easy to lose track of time when you go there but yeah just remember and you can see those lights those are actually your spaceport we'll get there eventually so this is one side the promenade ignore the promenade now i mean you can go and explore uh, you know obviously but for the time being let's come out of here 
again the common place where people are working out uh, so on the right side sorry so on the opposite of promenade you see new babbage plaza and go to the new babbage plaza and you can see like there's a hologram here uh, this is a reference and opposite to that just if you come out of here and if you just stand here just wherever you get lost try to find out this place because this is like very easy from here it is easy to exit so just remember this this blue screen with a i don't know what is it it's probably a ring with the factory line so just come to the front now if you look to your left you'll see two things center mass and shubiri interstellar so center mass is the place where uh, which sells weapons and shubiri interstellar is a place which will sell you uh, uh, a few armor and other stuff so we're gonna go to this left climb up the staircase and this is basically shubiri interstellar you can see the board is there shubiri interstellar so there are two monitors here just get into one monitor and click shop now now again uh just wait a minute it's loading yeah so again make sure you are in new babbage and then select so we will start with uh undersuit so initially uh you don't need an undersuit because the hospital that is spawning you will give you a free undersuit but in case if you don't have an undersuit and you are uh, you it is also possible that the hospital will spawn you in a uh, the hospital will always spawn you in a blue gown but it will give you a free undersuit i'm sorry i, I was wrong there uh, but if the hospital didn't give you an undersuit and you are always in a blue gown just come to this place and select an undersuit and always buy this beacon undersuit because this is like very cheap i mean um, i think all undersuits are the same price but beacon undersuit is like the the bare minimum your dress so get this beacon undersuit uh, and then go to armor so there are like so many armors here so there are different kinds of armor this arm armor there is torso this helmet this backpack this leg armor uh, let's go one by one uh you you basically don't need uh, the arm or anything uh, the only thing that you probably will need is the torso armor because that will help you keep the backpack so i'm going to select torso now it is very intriguing because to buy like the biggest armor uh, but don't do that because early on in your uh, career as a star citizen uh, you will most likely die many many times and uh, <coughs> sometimes by bug sometimes by doing something stupid so it is not advised because when you die you lose your gear and you can sometimes go and get it back but it it's not always possible so don't try to buy like the biggest gear uh, just um go with like the cheapest one so this one is a cheap good one so macflex core rucksack is a good one uh you can buy this and then go to helmet just buy the most cheapest helmet horizon helmet and then go to uh backpacks and again get the cheapest one uh get this rucksack backpack uh so there are things there is you know certain backpacks only go with certain torso for example uh this rucksack backpack is i think this uh Oh, so it says core compatibility all right that means this backpack could be worn for all core but if you see this one snow drift morozo ch it says that core compatibility is heavy that means you can only put this on when you are wearing a heavy armor so if you are wearing this one a rucksack which is a light armor you can't put on those morozo um, uh, backpack so to wear morozo bar pack you have need to have a heavy armor you don't you know not not necessarily you need the morozo snow drift armor you can probably use something else also but it needs to be heavy if you see here uh backpack compatibility uh sorry not so if you see item type it should have heavy in its thing so that that's that's the idea uh and um, so yeah just take whatever gear you like uh, but don't waste so much money because you're going to die a lot uh, in the in your early days until you Yeah, you know learn the ropes and you know figure out how to bypass all these bugs so please don't spend too much on the uh, armor uh, i know it, it's very um, it's 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 very tempting to do that so don't do that and once you're done come to personal weapons this is an important thing select 
so basically this is like a very very important helper tool what the, this does is uh, this multi tool is kind of like a all in one gun uh, you can attach heads to it and do different types of operations so for example if you add a tractor beam attachment to this multi tool this will work as a tractor beam gun if you add a mining attachment it will work as a handheld miner and there are other types of attachment there's a salvage attachment which is not sold here but it it is it is sold in some other places so if you add that you can use the same tool to salvage so this is kind of like all in one tool so always get one uh, just get one that is enough you don't have to get many and there is one important thing don't do quick buy here just click here and go to buy and you see if you buy a gun it comes with a default mining attachment tool so this is probably not something we need so if you remove that you actually you can see the price goes down so if it's 1000 us you see and if you take it out it goes to 730 us right so let's just buy it after unchecking this so once you do that you'll only get the multi tool so i will show you uh, and and once you have bought this then buy this tractor beam attachment this is very important so buy this also just buy one now come out of the terminal all right So now um, we bought all this, but we don't actually have equipped any of this. So to equip all your gear from wherever you have kept it, you have to go to your inventory, and inventory obviously is I. So press I. Uh, this is not a very bright place. Wait a second. Let's go here. Yeah. Press I. Yeah. Okay. So you can see. Uh, I mean, I have other stuff too because I've been playing for a long time. But yeah. uh so these are the st you'll see all the stuff here if you don't see anything just make sure uh, to check if you have any kind of filter set on so this is a filter so make sure you don't have any filters you'll see all of your stuff so i'm going to just show you how to equip this stuff so if you hover here a, a blue uh blue highlight will come then you can just grab your dress and drop it in inventory so now you are uh, you're now you're just wearing your uh, normal undergarments so now first you have to apply your undersuit so undersuit is like your 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 jumpsuit and without undersuit you can't wear any armor so if i go to your armor and let's say i want to put this helmet on i can't do it it won't let me do it because i'm not wearing an undersuit so undersuit is a must uh, so you can see i have a bunch of undersuit so i'm going to choose this default one uh so if you if you bring it here it will uh, so there are two ways to wear it uh, one is you can drag it and then you can bring it to this round marker it will this round marker will appear based on what kind of stuff you are putting uh, if it's a helmet then it will up come in your head if it's uh, like arm armor then it it will come near your arm etc since this is an undersuit it is coming near your core uh, you can do this or if you are not wearing anything you can just double click on it and it will just get applied to you but uh, it will only work most of the time if if you are not wearing if i try to do another undersuit uh, most probably it it won't i mean it is working now but it's it's a hit hit or miss so you can see i'm doubling now nothing is happening right so yeah so this is the undersuit right once undersuit is done go to armor and wear your helmet and in the same way you will also um okay i didn't realize that i don't have any uh armor let me go and buy an armor right so now i'm going to go for my armor and i'm going to check my tarzo armor 
and then i'm going to click on my backpack so i mean <laughs> ignore the fact that it looks like really ugly um, yeah, that's okay we can find matching armor later but if you notice that the moment you added this armor and your backpack new inventory started popping up right so this is your backpack and this is your core armor component right now uh, so if you want to put something so let's assume I'm, I'm, i want to put this med pen i can put it in my backpack and backpack has a limit so it has a 50k micro scu of capacity so when you put this it is filled one person so let's assume I'm, I'm moving all this so you can see now it's filled 42 percent so and the same goes to core component but core component is armor is still smaller so it's only 9k capacity so depending on what kind of armor you are wearing and what kind of backpack you are keeping this quantity will change uh, but your your local is kind of having some I don't know what is this, this is like a million million USC because it's a whole planet you can have as much of garbage as you want in this so yeah so now um, we don't need all of this but we need a little bit of this so I'm gonna take two med pen so if you take it you can keep it here which will kind of uh, one important thing to note is that if you want to like draw your med pen uh, while you are playing you can't keep it in your backpack because if you keep it in your backpack then you have to come to your inventory and use it so oh, i'll tell you what that means so assume i'm playing here uh, i'm i'm playing here i'm fighting something i'm i'm getting hurt now i want to like uh, reheal myself what i can do is so i have my med pens now on my attached to my pants right so now if i press c c for uh, clear you see how he he took this med pen uh but but assume uh, i have this in my backpack now if i press c nothing happens because it's in your backpack the idea is that if it's in your backpack you have to like unzip your backpack and take it and it, it's not easy but if it's in your um if it's kind of strapped to your belt you can just you know uh just, just just remove it and use it so always keep a couple of med pens in your in your pants so that it's easy for you to take but if you want extra you can always keep it in your backpack and i'm going to take a multi-tool uh, i'll show you what a multi-tool how to use it so i've taken a multi-tool now if you notice um to, so dr to draw a multi-tool press four key now if you see if i if i'm firing it nothing happens actually nothing happens why because uh inspect yeah because this tool has nothing right like there is no attachment to this tool this is just a plain multi-tool now there are a couple of ways to uh, uh put this stuff so you can click customize and then this will come then you can click this and you know select it but i'm not sure why this is not coming here and this is like a canister uh, yeah you can do it this way uh, but this is like not really ideal uh, it's, it's kind of very bugged or you can what you can do is you can keep your uh, you can keep your multi tool back in your uh, pocket uh, in your in your holster you can press r you can hold r so that he'll put it back now go to your inventory and yeah so your, your multi tool is here and this is your tractor head just drag the tractor head and you can see it, it is showing you to attach the multi tool right just attach the multi tool and now if you go to your four you can see like you can see you're seeing extra or something you can see you can see extra you're seeing extra stuff and you can see it, it shows like uh, into mark because whatever you're aiming at is exceeding the mass of this uh, tractor beam so if i try to pull this guy it's probably not possible um i don't know there's nothing here to pull actually maybe this cup okay not this but yeah so this tractor beam you just aim at something and if you tractor it uh, you can use the tractor beam. i'll show you how to use the tractor beam later but for now let's just put it in so let's go back to inventory so we have our armor we have our backpack we have med pins we have a tractor beam uh, so 
we have basically everything we need except an important thing so from the shubin interstellar uh, i'll just show you from the starting point so it's easy for you so you are in this you are in front of this blue screen to your left shubin interstellar and center mass we just came here came to shubin interstellar bought our stuff and just keep going you will see something called center mass uh, right here center mass is a place where you can buy ship weapons and uh, personal weapons so you can see these are like ship guns for ship what is this this is a cannon and if you go all the way to the last you will see terminals here so there are two terminals here sometimes they might be glitched or someone is using so if someone is using or it's not usable just on the opposite side there's two more you can also use them so we're going to use this and it's it's loading yeah so just select personal weapon and again select personal weapon so there are multiple guns that are sold but you don't need all those guns all you need is uh just take the most simplest gun um you can either choose p4 ar or you can just p8 sc both of them are good guns but if you are into cost you can just choose p8 sc just do a quick buy and once you have bought it we need some attachments for this gun so you come to attachment there's like so many attachment here don't just go crazy on these attachments and also some attachments will not be suitable for some guns so if you the main important attachment you want is uh, if you come all the way down you will see where is that yeah you'll see this holographic scope so you can either use delta or you can use gamma or if you want slightly um, if you want a scope that is slightly zoomable you can go for like 2x holographic but don't go more than 2x holographic because otherwise in fps it, it, it's just like very hard to do uh, very hard to fight because it'll it'll zoom you so much so i'm going to choose gamma duo 2x because i'm comfortable with 2x zoom and then come a little bit down um where is it mm. yeah uh, we bought p86 smg right so we we're gonna need some ammunition for it so we're gonna buy and we're gonna buy what five ammunition that i think that's enough ammunition is dead cheap in star citizen so you can just stack up and save it for later so once you are out of it now again going to inventory and i'm gonna go to weapons and uh, ignore these stuff these are my guns but the gun we bought is this one so i'm gonna double click on that so i'm equipped with that now uh, this is my gamma scope so i'm gonna drag it and i'm gonna put it here so now my gun is ready um you can't use your gun in armistice so basically what armistice is it's, it's like a no no shoot zone so you can see on the um i don't know how to show that with mouse cursor but yeah you can't uh, yeah you can see here right so you see this this bullet uh kind of like a no bullet symbol whenever you see this symbol that means you can't use weapons uh even if you try so you can't draw out your weapons uh, like your hand weapons and if you are in your ship your ship weapons won't work uh, when you are in armistice uh, so there's like a no no shooting no violent zone so yeah now once we are out let's try to find that blue screen so it says go away this way this is shubinit empty protection service yeah so it says exit on the left right so let's try to exit on the left it says exit on the 
left again so we're gonna go left then it says exit dead ahead so go ahead and you can see actually this is that that factory line thing so we're gonna go out and once we go out so there are other things uh, so for example if you see on my left to bottom screen you can see my uh, this is actually my health uh, it's not my health this is basically my my attributes uh, so I'm kind of only 82% hydrated and I'm only 99% uh, not hungry so I'm, I'm in other words I'm 1% hungry and I'm like 18% um, thirsty so to replenish yourself uh, you can go to any food place like this and you know get stuff so let's just try to get this one you can quick buy it yeah okay we got it so we are wearing helmet so we can't drink it so we're gonna we're gonna remove our helmet and then uh, by the way to come to a third person camera you have to press f4 so i'm pressing f4 and i'm gonna drink this to drink just press mouse uh, left button like similar to firing your gun yeah so once you're done drinking don't throw away the bottle like some of these guys have done it because star citizen now has something called as PES, which means persistent entity streaming what that means is if you left a trash somewhere it's gonna stay there forever until the server crashes so go to a dustbin and then keep click place I click it oh come on man Whoa. okay Alright, let's try to place it. Oh, okay, when you when you see this highlight, just put it in the garbage tin and yeah, that's that's, that's all it takes. Alright. So yeah, again to this if you remember the center place where people were doing yoga just go to this place so it says t2 transit just get in and finally after like two hours of playing this game we're gonna get into space so just get again go down again now since we have purchased everything we'll go to spaceport so the left train so there's a train already let's just quickly get into it Run, 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 run. all right and if you are confused while you are in train that you don't remember what stop you got out for what stop was coming next or have you missed your stop or anything just like how you do in a real metro just look into this thing so it's saying next stop nbis terminal and you'll reach there in a minute so let's just wait <laughs>